You don't, you know, you don't solve communism with bullets. That's not going to do it. Okay, you have to outcompete it, and you have to show what's better. You have to but be the only that thing, example. The only thing you show by using, um, you know, military force is that the United States has a superior military, and I think everybody's aware of that. The whole planet's clear. Um, I do think, but his claim that. Uh, re removing economic sanctions wasn't going to do anything for the average person, and I think it's really specious. Um, you know, like um, when I get to do business with people, it benefits me. Yes, the government takes taxes, and perhaps the government will take more in Cuba, but uh, you know that's just an opportunity for the Cubans to learn that hey, look, you know, Governments having take. Having, ta having taxes taken from you stinks. Yeah, you let the Cubans deal with that. OK. And if I want to do business with somebody in Cuba, I should be free to do that. Isn't that's, that the, one of the freedoms? That's really the important point here is who the hell do you think you are as an American citizen advocating the fact that I can't do business with somebody in Cuba? You stinking fascist. Mm. You disgusting, un-American, banana republic little dictator. Who the <laughs> hell do you think you are telling me I can't do business with whomever I want? That's what it comes down yeah, it to. Does. These stinking little fascists say, "Oh, you can't do that. The Democrats want to do want to do business with the. <laughs> I'm a god. You're not a Republican. Well, yes, I am. I'm a, an elected Republican, and your attitude stinks. It's anti-capitalist. Mm. It's anti-freedom. It's anti-American. Right. And it's it's inhumane.